Hi everybody, this is Crossover Man Guys. I'm the captain here and I got Dempster. Hi! I got Leon on the side. Yo. Oh yay! And today, damn you're tall! Holy Very hell! Tall. It's like Jonathan Joe, I mean, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we are going to explore the seven colors of the rainbow today. Because the original translated line for this was... Uh, what, seven rain. colors, seven rain. colors or something. So uh, diva of the seven colors. Uh, divas of the seven colors, something like that. Yep. But we, because this is actually being released in English at the same time, am I wrong? Yep. Yeah. So um, so basically, the English name has come out. So that's so in tradition. What is the Japanese name? Nanairo no utahime. Yeah. So it's seven colors of the divas. Yep. But in English, they call them prismatic divas. Well, Which... they're not exactly wrong. I mean, prison is a rainbow. Sama, sama. We, we don't want to get too much into science. It's science, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. So, this is the new Bermuda Triangle Clan Booster. It's back again this year. Every mid-year, there's always a Bermuda Triangle. And it's yes. here, finally. To suck your money away. Woo! Woo! To yes. throw for waifu money. So, uh, at the same time also, uh, the reason why we're kind of excited about this is because this is actually uh, the first time that both English and Japanese have their releases of the same item in the same month. Yeah. So uh, right now you can see the dates for the for the release dates for both of them. Mm -hmm. So um, they're actually being released in the same month. So English will actually get this on the 25th of July, which is exciting. Mm. However, uh, there is the uh, Vanguard and Butterfly uh, Grand Festival happening in the US, and yep. they're actually I'm not sure about for this one, but I believe that you'll be able to get your hands on this car uh, on this clan booster. Exactly on the same day that Japanese get their hands on this one, which is on the 7th of July. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, or if I'm wrong, I'll just probably put an annotation on there, you guys can see. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, yes, this is the clan booster. And on the front here, we see the the HGR of, of this set, which is Perfect Performance Anji. Yeah. I, I wish there was an eye in there, but no, oh, I'm making Anji. 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 And, and, and so I give you fish allergies. Yes. <laughs> I know that's the last thing I want, I don't want to no, no But anyways, uh, as I've mentioned at the top of the video, it's actually quite tall. It's actually um, taller than, than the clan boosters that have previously held. Mm. Which means that the cuts in there might be a little bit thicker, I don't know. I... It's as thick as her. <laughs> Can you not? That's quite menacing. <laughs> very, very, very <laughs> menacing. So <laughs> if you want to see Cho 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 stuff, we actually do have the, the trial deck uh, unboxing, which you guys can check right now. But let's look at this uh, first before you guys head over to there. Yep. So let's look around the box. So in front here, we have the nice pink uh, to white um, stream over there. Yep. Um, just the information, the names of it in Japanese. Mm -hmm. On the side here, we can see all the information. So in here, there's only Bermuda Triangles. That's the, the clan booster. Uh, inside, yep. the, the secret packs. So uh, because there are, because this is seven colors, so there are actually seven different SP packs. Oh. We have a lot to collect if you want to throw waifu money. So, yes. you know, I mean, you guys have a lot of food. <laughs> if you want to collect all the waifus. And then inside every pack, uh, is a clan booster. So there's seven cards in there with two of them being rare and above. Yeah, and uh, based on based on previous um, the, the previous uh, unboxing, which was the Demonic Ascent mm. GBT Eleven, so there might be double uh, double double R packs two two of them in, in one. Yeah, but very hard to say. It's very very hard to say. We don't know yet because it's the first clan booster after the revised BT. So we see where it goes. Yeah, and of course there's twelve packs in one box here, which is indicated by this. Mm. The rest is all just other information from Bushy Road, including um, other stuff in there. Yeah, the back here barcodes. Not much to view back here. Just information. Mm -hmm. and on the side here, uh, if I'm not wrong, every single one of these units are actually Cho Cho units. So they actually belong to the new trial deck uh, for that's released uh, at the same time for Cho Cho. Mm. Uh, we don't know the names, but um, we'll find out the names soon enough if we actually manage to open them. Yep. So, without further delay, let's get into the box itself. Oh, there's nothing on the flat page. Really. Yeah, they give up on it. So. You know, if anyone ever asks you how much money you spent buying uh, Bermuda Triangle cards, you should reply them. Do you count how many breads you eat, have you eaten in your life? Wow. If, if, and if they catch that reference, they should be good friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Dempster actually has in his hand the, on top of the box is the, the, deck the cut deck list. Cut list as and well the, as the deck recipes. Yeah. Deck recipes. For, this is for Chojo, I think. Yeah, this is for mostly Chojo. Yes. Yep. And sorry. <laughs> yep. And then we have this one for Pacifica. Uh, Pacifica. And this one is actually for Riviera. Yes. Riviera. So yeah. So these, you know, That's as a tradition, all these, uh, all the sub clans that has been out, including Chocho, has have one card or another in this whole set. So yes. you can expect something for everyone. Something for every single Google Triangle player. Yes. yes. So let's hope there's something good for all of them. Uh, okay. All right. So the packaging is the same as the the front as well. Ng on the front. It's a nice. Pale pink. I wanna lick it. 
Uh, I will say that for, for off the camera. Okay. So. <laughs> it reminds you of Maki. Reminds you of Maki. So, yeah. Alright, so I yeah. guess there's not much to say, so we get straight to the unboxing. So let's do this. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, nice. I got an SP pack. Guess who is it? Guess first, guess first. Points for everyone who gets it right. Daiki. Pacifica. Pacifica. Sea Randia! Sea Randia 2! Okay, oh. we'll leave this for later. <laughs> So we have opened up the two boxes that we have here. Now, uh, when we open up two boxes, we always open up two or one boxes here. So naturally, we won't be able to get every single four that's in this set. So if you guys want to see the cards that we missed out, you guys can head into the links in the description below. Uh, they will head over to our booster pack that's on CosmoVegas.com, our blog. Mm -hmm. So you actually can see the, the other fours, the triple R's and the R's and the GR's that we missed out here. Mm. But for now, uh, we are actually, uh, let's just go through into what we have here right now. It's already started. I actually thought that we got one copy of each of this spot here And then I saw this uh, yeah, 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 that's what I thought too but Hey, thank goodness that. there's one copy so we have one less thing to work with Yes, that's true <laughs> So in total we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Otherwise, So yes. basically there's mm. 6 in uh, in one box yep. So which means that half of the box is actually false mm. Yes, mm. and this stack here as you guys kind of saw from our spasm <laughs> We, uh, basically, Only we got reindeer, spasm. so well, his spasm, so my spasm, yeah, my spasm, so. his spasm, mainly. So we actually got reindeer, and of course, we naturally will go through the SP pack that as we've got. Mm -hmm. So let's start from the beginning. So it the is first a good color. place to start. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a good place to start because, yes, because this, is this is perfect performance. performance and Anju, Mushu, Mushu, too much senpai. Okay, anyway. <laughs> those of you playing MGO, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> okay, so. The GR, she has a very interesting skill, it's an X skill. Once per turn, GB2, counter blast 2, and choose one card from your G zone uh, and turn it face up. So, um, choose as many circles, other than Vanguard circles, choose as many Vanguard circles from both yours or your opponents, and um, return them to your hand. Return them to their respective hands, basically. So. Yes. And then for every card returned this way during that turn, this unit gets plus 5k. If 5 or more are returned this way, draw a card. If 7 more are returned during that turn, this unit gets plus 1 drive. Cool! This is very actually cool. a very, very, very strong card. You guys saw in the in the anime, actually, it's been released in the anime already for Japanese. Yep. Um, the fact that Angie is able to plus 35k on her own, not only that also, but she also gets additional draws and uh, plus drive. one critical as well. Plus one drive. drive. Yeah. So quadruple drive is actually very, 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 very strong. Very annoying also. Very, very annoying. Oh, and, and the good thing is you can just play one copy of her. You don't have to play so many of those because you can just flip any G unit. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, there's been a uh, flip any G unit over. Uh, I have to double check because there might be an errata that's released. So it might oh, say okay. that you might need to flip over a, uh, a unit with the same copy. Uh, but same it's, copy, but it's a GB2 once per turn and counter blast 2. The cost is actually pretty heavy, so I would overlook this kind of thing. Really yeah, but you guys, are, you guys saw the actual translation of the card. So if we are. And so if you are correct in our translation, then we are correct. If not, then you guys are seeing the correct ones. You yeah. Wrong, so, so. If your opponent, if she proceeds to bounce the entire field, your opponent has 4 pieces on the table. Ah, uh, that's the risk that he's want to take, lah. So, yeah. that, that, that's his one. But then again, but then again, Reyes goes back to your head anyway. So, what do we care? <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's Next move one. on. So this is actually duo, which is something that I'm trying to build up and play. So this is duo. Um, I think the original one is duo temptation, but this one I believe is duo. Duo everlasting. Duo everlasting. Everlasting. Ah, uh, duo everlasting. Uh, duo everlasting great. Yeah, yep. duo everlasting rate. So her skill, labor break four. Uh, oh, no, not labor break four on a stride. So, uh, all right. So uh, basically, at the end of battle, this unit attacked. Uh, this unit attacked. 
Uh, then, uh, if you have a dual heart, you may pay the cost, which is Color Blast 1, and flip a unit with the same name as this. Oh no, uh, reveal 3 cards from your hand with the same name. Uh, if, you, if you pay that cost, then um, for every face up card that you have in the G zone, um, Shoot, I can't read. You need help? Yes, I need help. Why don't Pass you just it to me then. Sort of read it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me pick four counter blast one and choose up to, uh, choose three cards with the same names mm. and discard them. Yep. At the end of the battle, that this unit attacks. If you have a dual hard card, you may pay the cost. If you do, put this put this unit the G zone face up. Um, choose up to one card from your G zone with dual everlasting read in its name and strike it as 10 on a vanguard circle minus one drive and it loses all auto skills Ah, oh, okay so basically you choose a face down her it's a restander lah so yeah it's basically the same as raging rap actually yeah raging rap dragon which is you send the card here then after you choose a face down card and strike it. it yeah but the difference is that this one cannot be spammed out because it loses all auto skills yeah. so she becomes a vanilla twin drive uh, 26k beat stick. Yeah, which is the same as, as I mentioned, like, it's the same as Raging Rap in a certain way. Like, in so, a certain way, yes. Yeah, in a certain way because of the switching things. So. Yeah. Since right. the skill activates after when he attacks, that means if you heal. Uh, yeah, if you lose yeah, you you four, then, then you can't yeah. use it anymore. Yeah. So. That's, that's, the al that's the risk that we always play. Yeah. Especially me because I play that specific uh -huh. combo. So. Moving on, so this is a boost. This is actually a strike for Riviere, right? Yes, Legendary Idol Riviere. She's yeah. finally become legendary. I love her so much. Yes, no, not really. She's one of the <laughs> oldest Bermuda Triangle units yep. uh, and, in Bermuda Triangle. And she's so. finally getting a boost. I'm so happy. So anyway, <laughs> she has an X skill. Uh, kind of blast one and choose a unit from your G zone with the same name as this unit and turn it face up. Um, <clears throat> choose up to the same number of cards uh, on your... No, choose the same number of cards Oh, choose the same number of rear guards as the number of reviers in your soul. Oh. During that turn, they get plus 5k. Um, then if you have 3 or more face-up cards in your G-Zone, draw a card. During that turn, this unit gets plus 10k, 1 critical. Uh. Rivier. That means if you play the full right chain, you get at least 3. Yes. And yes. that's a lot. That is a lot as well. Not to mention if you play cards whereby you can send cards into the soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that just adds more reviewers that you can actually put up. So Woo! it's actually really, really powerful, really, really, really strong. It's yes. the same as we just Soul Saver to us. Uh, it's the same as Soul Saver in a way. Soul yeah. Saver, yes, uh, but, but without the hefty cost of Soul Blast. That is true. Mm. So, still Soul Blast on Revere that you could use seriously. I remember her, even her own skill is something like that, her original skill. No, her original skill is. Yeah, something like that. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll talk about that when we get we'll there. Yeah, we'll discuss that another time. Yep. So, the next one that we have here, so Dempster, the name is, uh, this is Shizuku. Yeah, but her full name is? Fulbright Wish. Fulbright Wish. Yeah, Fulbright Wish Shizuku. Shizuku, alright. So, in case some of you don't know, Shizuku actually has a, uh, has another great tree which was released in the um, the promo set. No, that was a great two. The miser set. Oh, that was a great two. Yeah. Yeah, but basically she has a. a um, her own set lah, so yep. Alright, and then uh, Promos is also reprinted in this set as well as a, as a reprint mm -hmm. But basically now let's just go through this Shizuku So her skill is, the first skill is Vanguard Regal Circle, how many? Oh, wow <laughs> <laughs> That was... Um, okay. Yeah, there's not much to say, you guys can see the skill for Harmony right now So I won't delve too much into it mm -hmm. So, uh, but then her second skill is Counter Blast 1 So when this unit appears in the Vanguard Circle, you may pay the cost, Counter Blast 1 If you do, look at the top 5 cards uh, Search for a great tree with Shizuku in its name mm. uh, Reveal it, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck mm. Then the third skill is that when your G unit strikes uh, Choose your Vanguard And for a turn, it gets the skill all natural, all original great tools uh, in the trigger zone will get plus one grade. Oh, yes. Uh, in the deck, basically plus one grade. Okay. So basically, you can use her strike skill and basically all your great trees, all your great tools will actually transform into great trees by now. Oh, okay. I see how this is going already. Yeah. And how about as... the Shizuku's right? Shizuku is very heavily based on great trees, actually. Especially for great. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So this one will help a lot. Very, very like much a lot mm. indeed. So it's actually quite and unique. I, and I know they are mermaids, you better go all natural. What? <laughs> no, no link jokers. Yeah. No link. Because that trees are natural, you know. Yeah, no link joker. No link joker. No link, yeah, link. You think too much. You think too much. No link. <laughs> All right, moving on. So this is actually the first boost for that we have here for Chocho. Uh -huh. So basically, uh, this is Chocho um, officer. I think so. 
Because I saw Because mm. I saw the, the country for Show show engage mm. lead No engage lead Prati Prati How do you hear yeah. the officer? I don't know <laughs> Kan... Uh, Teitoku I think Or Kantoku Kantoku Anyway uh, Her skill is Soul Blast 1 Choose one of your real guys with Chocho in his name And send it to the bottom of your deck yeah. When this unit appears on Guardian Circle You may pay the cost If you do draw a card during the battle This unit gets plus 5k shield uh, mm. it's, a, it's a little good step up from the, the G Guardian in the trial deck mm-hmm. But... Well with the, with the extra cost of Soul Blast 1 Well you still get um, draw one, but mm-hmm. you still get a draw one, which actually fits for for what Cho Cho actually does. So yeah. If you want to see what Cho Cho does, you can head over to the unboxing video for the trial deck. So, yes. Right. Moving on. So this is actually a uh, another G Guardian, but it's general. Mm-hmm. So basically, this is Higher Society Citron. Higher Society. <laughs> Higher Society Citron. Uh huh. And it's French. So. Oui, oui, oui. No, not oui, oui. Vroom, 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 yes. vroom. Citron. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? So its skill is that when this unit uh, is placed on the Guardian Circle, mm-hmm. then uh, you choose uh, a great one or a buff card from your hand, call it to Regard Circle. Then if you've caught one, then for the battle, this unit gets plus 10k shield. Oh. It's actually a much more easier uh, way to... It's actually a much more easier way to achieve 10k for... Uh, as compared to like Leona. Yeah, hand but hand I, re- I realize this is this is like a, a slightly better version of Rain Breath Dragon. If you think about it, in a way, yes. except that it doesn't get resist. But why would you need to resist at a time like this when all you need is an extra five k shield? And not only that, with the way that uh, Bloom Triangles play, you know, you have plenty ha- you have plenty of hands to work with in order to call. So. Yes, of course, unless your opponent is trying to dig you out and you know cut your hands down to very little, which is quite easy to achieve in such <laughs> yeah. a way. Or another, so. All right, moving on. So this is something for Dempster because he no, plays the deck. No, she mine. Yes, she definitely yours. <laughs> yeah, so this so is this is one. Wonderful voice, Loris. Wonderful, wonderful. Voice. <laughs> yeah. Right, her, yeah. <laughs> okay, her first skill is a harmony skill. Thank God, yep. circle. Her second skill is a continuous skill, GB2. Mm-hmm. When this unit is in harmony, this unit gets plus 5k. Mm-hmm. Then, if this unit is in a Vanguard circle, she gets plus 1 critical. So, it it's it plays around the same as the original Loris. Mm-hmm. Whereby, you know, once it hits um, once it hits harmony, then she gets for 5k and 1 critical. But this is not an auto skill. This mm. is continuous. So, yes. once you lose the um, harmony state, that's it for you. Yes. Okay, now her strike skill is, when this unit, when your G unit strikes, you may pay the cost, which is Kana Blast 1, so Blast 1. If you do, draw a card, choose up to two of your units, uh, two of your rear guards, and bounce them back to your hand. <laughs> this is so good! Why is she a double R only? Because she is so good, but not as good as Angie. So she is wonderful. <laughs> Very wonderful indeed. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> All right. Next. All right. Moving on. So the next card that we have here, this is actually a duo card. Mm-hmm. So the name Dempster is duo, uh, duo and bring sprinkle light. Oh, sprinkle Priyani. light. Briani, yeah. no, not Briani, Priani, Priani. So, not Briani. Not Briani. <laughs> Briani. <laughs> We're Singaporean. In case you yes, is, isn't clear enough, so. very messed up image. Yes, yes. you do. <laughs> All right. So this unit uh, is a uh, is a great tree. So it has a Vanguard auto skill. Hmm. This is weird. So um, so plus one. That's the cost. So at the end of the turn, mm. uh, you may pay the cost, which is so plus one. If you do, um, choose a. Choose two cards with the same name, uh, with duo on your name, uh, mm. from your hand, and okay. reveal them. Mm. Then, if you've revealed two, then search your deck for a great, uh, search your deck for, um, oh, search your deck for a unit, a duo great tree, or this unit, and um, write it in the Vega Circle at rest. Oh, is it? Yeah, write it in the Vega Circle at rest. Then shuffle your deck. Then, if you've wrote, uh, reveal, uh, if Three or more cards are revealed. Uh, draw one. So, huh. so I don't have the, the whole skill text. No, no, not so not called this unit. That means you gotta choose another duo grade three, not name this card, and write it as rest. Oh, not mm-hmm. name this card. Yeah, that means this one has help. This one helps you write to something else that you need, lah. Say for example, raid or, or Mia. whatever Mia, yeah, or that kind of thing, lah. You know, yeah. she's a she's a right character, lah. Descendant can wish. go. Descendant yeah. can descend to hair. Yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, this is actually a pseudo. Um, Cover in case you don't find a specific great tree. Yes. Knowing how Bum, uh, knowing how uh, dual plays, because the great trees can be interchangeable. So finding the specific one that you need, especially if you play something like Mir, this actually might be useful in that regard. Mir. Mir. <laughs> wow. And also because uh, there's a dual card, so it's, so this is the black version. There's also the white version as well, uh. which you can collect in the set. So yep. that's more waifu money going out, though. You know? Yes. Mm. Correct. Going out of the uh. wallets. 
So right. moving on. Yep. The next card we have here is for Chocho again. Yes. So this is Chocho Blanche. Yes. She's also awesome. French. <laughs> oui oui. <laughs> Not vroom vroom this time. Not vroom vroom this time. Oui. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, her skill is GB one. Uh, so blast one. Choose an uh, another Vega like Chocho in his name and put it to the bottom of the deck. Yes. So when this unit appears on the uh, Vega circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top four cards of the deck. Uh, choose up, uh, reveal up to one Chocho card uh, other than Chocho Blanche. Add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. If you add one card this way, during the turn, this only gets plus 2k. We're gonna lose mm. French subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to say sorry in French. Help, Google Sensei, where are you? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so. Right. The next one we have. Uh, this is a reprint, but it's not a reprint per se because it's not stated as a reprint. It's just a re-release of the same card. Yes. All over again. So right. this is actually Image Master Kukuri. Yep. So uh, it's a Sentinel, and it's basically the um, the PG that was first released when the G era came out. Yes. So its skill is that um, you drop one card from your hand. So when this unit is placed in the Guardian Circle from your hand, you may pay the cost. And if you do, choose your Vanguard that's not being attacked. That it's being attacked. That's not battle. It cannot be hit. <laughs> if you have another copy of uh, Kukuri in your drop, drop zone, counter charge one. Yep. One so that's there, there's really not much we say. It's the typical you know counter charge of PG. Protect of dragon. Yeah, yes. but it's, but I guess in Burrow Triangle because the counter blast is quite used up and they don't have a lot of um what clan wide cards that actually can counter counter charge. Yes. Yeah. So actually so, it is kind of uh it makes sense why they would reprint this in a uh, way. But, but why not as a reprint reprint? I don't know. I honestly ask, have no idea. Ask Bushiro on that. No, uh, no. Yeah. Ask, uh, ask Mia, Shizuku, and uh, Olivia because they got their promos reprinted in the set. As, as why no, free. no Olivia support? I said. Yeah. yeah so, okay. Anyway, <laughs> right on. The card I have in my hand is <laughs> this is a very funny name. Love collect Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she has a harmony skill, and her second skill GB one counter blast one so blast one. When this unit is returned from the Vega circle to your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, um. Look at uh, from the top. Oh, look at the same number of cards from the top of your deck as the number of units with harmony ability. Um, choose up to one of them. Add, one, add up to one of them to your hand. Then put the rest at the bottom in any order. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. There's not much to go around. It's actually yeah, a boost it's, for for harmony. It's so. very meh, really. Mm -hmm. You find I mean, it's use a, for it. So. You uh, definitely find use for it. It's just yeah. it just come you know like. Counter contradicts whatever that um, the harmony works, but oh, we'll see how it goes. I guess we definitely will see how it goes. Yep. So now that is all the cards that we have gotten naturally in mm -hmm. this set. Now there is the SP pack that we've gotten for reindeer. Um, <laughs> there are other uh, there are other um, you know uh, SP packs. There's another six more of them. Yep. We can't remember this point in time, but again the. Booster pack post, uh, which you guys can find the link to at the bottom of the uh, description box. You guys can actually see what the other SPs are and what they will boost for. Yep. So let's just dive straight into this. Now there are some cards here that's actually released in this set, whereas the rest is actually um, just reprints, just reprints from older sets. Yes. So we'll go through those two right now. So the first one, this is actually the um, the stripe for reindeer in this set. Yep. So uh, that's the uh, the name. Uh, Song of Gracious Reindeer. Mm -hmm. So her skill is counter blast one, soul blast one, and choose a G unit from your G zone with the same name as this unit and turn it face up. Mm -hmm. So uh, when your drive check reveals a grade three, if you have a reindeer hard card, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one of your rear guards, return it to your hand during the battle. This unit gets plus three K and one drive. <laughs> I, well, it makes sense for for reindeer because she's plus one drive in uh, in, in one of the newer releases. Yes, uh, in the last set, uh -huh. so it carries over lah. So in that yeah. regard, so and the next one that we have here, um, the, I can't read the name, but this is actually uh, normally printed as a common actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. So this is this S this is the SP reprinting. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I, I couldn't find the, the the rare version in here. Maybe it's a rare. I can't. Mm. I, I might be wrong. But the name that's <laughs> Pimi Mimi Ngasiawa se Melovio. I don't know. Uh, fortune. <laughs> Fortunate. Lucky know. ear. Lucky ear. Lucky Shia ear. Say it's happiness, right? Uh. Happiness in your ear, Melivia. Let, oh. let, 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 let's leave it at that. Well, so. You guys can see the official name yeah. right now. So, so basically, its skill is that auto in the regard circle. Uh -huh. So when you drive track a grade 3, uh, when you drive track a grade 3, if you have a reindeer vanguard, then um, choose. Uh, you may return this card back to the deck. If you return the card, uh, choose two units and they get plus 3k. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a common. <laughs> yeah, definitely sounds. Yeah, it's definitely sounds like a common indeed. So these are actually the two cards that's uh, released in this set. Now we'll quickly uh-huh. go through the others in this set as well. So right. the first one is the very first reindeer that came out. Mm. So this is a velvet voice reindeer. Yep. So the skill is on the Vanguard circle. Uh, if choose one of your Bermuda Triangle rear guards yeah, and with it pump, yeah, bounce it back to your hand. If the so, try check review is like grade three, oh, you remember it by heart. Pay the cost. If you do, choose one card for your hand and call it to the regard circle, right? To an empty regard circle. Uh-huh. Specifically, to an empty regard circle. Yes. Uh, right. I'm, I'm that is the original reindeer that was printed. And then the, the new reindeer that's that's uh, printed here is uh, Peaceful Voice Reindeer. Yep. So this actually came out in the previous uh, Bermuda set. Mm. So its skill is uh, Vega Circle Auto once per turn. Um, when your drive check reveals a grade 3, then uh, you may pay the cost which is uh, choose one card from your hand and put it into the soul. If you do, then choose one of your regards, return it back to your hand. Then uh, if you have in your soul or your trigger zone, uh, a unit with reindeer in its name. Then for the turn, this unit gets plus one drive. Yep. Uh, that's the first skill. The second skill is on a regard circle. Um, so when your drive check reveals a reindeer, mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the battle, you may pay the cost, which is count plus two. If you do, write this unit as stand from no, the regard circle. This, move this from move this. Uh, if this unit is in stand, uh, move this to the vanguard circle. Ah, uh, okay. Move this unit <laughs> to the vanguard circle. Yep. Then uh, this unit minus one drive. Yes. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Peaceful, peaceful. Peaceful. Yes, peaceful. Yes, peaceful. It's very, very peaceful. <laughs> Moving on, right. so this is the rest of the support that uh, that um, Reindeer has from the previous set. Yep. So uh then so this one is This is um Inspect Sister's Lobel. Mm. <clears throat> so her skill is so plus one and move this unit to the bottom of the deck. Um, when this unit's attack hits the Vanguard, if you have a reindeer Vanguard, you will pay the cost. Mm. If you do, draw two cards and shuffle your deck. All right. And also, sorry, and one more skill. I, I couldn't see it just now, but it's a continuous skill on the trigger zone. If you have a reindeer Vanguard, this card gets plus one grade. Mm. <clears throat> mm. And Indeed. So and then yeah. basically her sister here yep. is a uh, rebel. So I believe he has the same sub name. Yes, uh, the same continuous skill. If you have a reindeer vanguard and the trigger zone, this only gets was two crit. So she's considered a grade three. Two. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, grade three lah. So, um, so her regard skill is um, put this unit to the bottom of your deck. If your drive track re- when your drive track reveals a grade three, if you have a reindeer vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do draw a card, shuffle your deck and counter charge one. Ha! Huh. Okay, that's super neat. Yes. Alright, and the last one I have here, this is actually the first Vanguard for Reindeer. Yes. So, the name now, sir? Uh, Colorful Smiling Frate. Frate, yeah. right. So, what's mm. the skill? Okay, first of all, it's a forerunner. Uh, mm-hmm. Second skill is a regular skill, come plus one and move this unit to the soul. Uh, at the end of the battle, that this unit boosted. If you have a Reindeer Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one up to one of your Regards, return it to your hand. Uh, choose up to two cards from your hand and call them to separate rear guards, uh, separate open rear guard circles. Mm. Yep, that is interesting indeed. And there's yes. seven of them, so and there's seven I, 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 I am kind of, um, I am kind of bummed why they didn't. Um, what's the name again? The the great one, piping hot something. Um, they didn't reprint it in the SP pack. I don't know why because that card is a lot more useful than, say. This one. <laughs> this one is new, <laughs> so that's why they reprinted it as such. So, but I don't like them. Oh, you, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you have to use them some point or another. So, yeah. Alrighty. So this is all the cards that we have released for um for uh, prismatic divas. Uh-huh. All right. It's so shiny and so full of colors that it even makes Daria from Rune Factory Three scream rainbows all the way to 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 you sleep. So <laughs> I hope any, I hope that Rune play, Rune Factory plays out there. So, um, yeah. What do you think so far? The only, way, the only thing I can hear from Leon's brain right now is how to plan all these things, right? That's true. <laughs> Me too. They all just bounce back and just. Yeah, but you better keep empty field because Cohen doesn't give any, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but if you ask me honestly speaking, uh-huh. uh, the boosts <clears throat> don't really differ that far from its uh, previous sets as well. That yeah. is true, lah. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> truth be told, I I find it quite meh. Yeah, it is kind of meh. It is kind of meh, but what I like is that they do boost uh, as much of the uh, subclass every almost every single build that uh, Pokemon Trigger actually has, which yes. includes like Coral and. Yeah, that, that's probably the only thing that's also. really really high for yeah. the Pokemon mm-hmm. Trigger. You mm-hmm. ask me, if mm-hmm. only they do the same for the rest of the clans, lah. Yeah, hopefully that comes to to pass mm-hmm. very very soon in the near future. That's so, probably also answer your questions why it's thicker than usual boxes. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it is quite thick, you know, like death. Yeah, 
fins and what's up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Any final words, guys? <clears throat> no, that's all. Oh, you think I'm gonna die? <laughs> probably, yes, probably. <laughs> we, we don't dying from dying. Yeah, our wallets are definitely wallets dying. Are... So we're gonna kill someone because we're gonna go open up more boxes and try yeah. to get some stuff so that you guys can see them in the fights, which we'll definitely put them up into fights very soon. Yes. Right, so if all that said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy what you see here, if you did, do consider subscribing to the channel of guys and also click the like button, share the video with your friends, tell them, hey, we do cover Vanguard videos and they're super fun. And they're super exciting as well because you get to see all these cards in action as soon as we can put them out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much just it there after that <laughs> sentence, right? Yeah. So at the same time, also follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook, Cross of Vegas. We're on Twitter, Cross of VGS. We have a blog, Cross of Vegas.com, where you actually can see the deck profiles, the booster packs also for this as well. Uh, head over there to our Cross of Vegas.com. You can see uh, all the posts that we have here, which includes event coverages and other stuff. Join us on Discord as well. We're there almost night, so you can come over there and say hi if you have any questions about you know, some of the things, Vanguard, Bermuda Triangle, anything in Vanguard related, you can kind of talk to us indirectly over there. We're very cool, very casual. Yep. And the fam is super cool, so that's another bonus. And also, if you like what you see here and want to support the show directly, you can head over to our Patreon where you can support us directly from there. So, with all that said, thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.